Jackpot G. Lars. I'm trying out a new park today. And there's a soccer field there, and there's a little basketball court here. And uh, I just jumped down and started detecting. I've been here for like five minutes, and I got a, a deeper 75 signal. It ended up being a wheat penny, so that is a very good sign. We could be onto something here, so I'm going to keep digging around and see if there's any, uh, any more, more old coins. Those houses aren't really that old, but there are old houses around here, more over there. I don't know if you can see them. And that's that's an oldish big building, so I don't know. Maybe I, I predict there are some old coins here, so we'll see. Just got my second wheat penny in quick succession, which is a very good sign and it wasn't even deep either, which is an even better sign. Show you guys the one cent on the back. Hopefully that hopefully we could get some silver. I'm hoping. And as you guys can see it's raining. Hopefully it'll stop, but but I'll still detect anyway if it doesn't. Alright, let's see if we can get any silver. It's a good sign. Just got a third weed penny of the day. It's about five inches down. Third weed penny. I'll clean it up when I get home. Hopefully we can get some silver. I've been digging up a lot of trash. And I, th I have more wheat pennies. I have three wheat pennies, one modern penny. That's a good sign. Let's see if we can get any old silver. Here's an interesting find. It's some sort of like bullet thing. But it hasn't been fired. It's still got like the little thingy. I'm not a bullet expert though, so I don't know what that is. That's looks like an unfired bullet. Pretty cool. See if there's anything else. Just got my fourth wheat penny of the day. Nineteen forty one. Come on, there's gotta be some silver around here. Four wheat pennies and Similar area. There's got to be some silver here. Let's keep digging. Just popped out my fifth wheat penny of the day. Another deepish choppy coin signal. I'm going to take a break in a little bit and uh, I'm going to go home, get some subway, and then put on my bigger coil. Because I think things are a little bit are, are a little bit too deep for the smaller coil. So I'm going to come back and try it with the uh, bigger coil. But that's our fifth weed penny. Let's keep it going. Nice. Another choppy deep coin signal. Sixth weed penny of the day. Silvers are hard to find though. Weed pennies are everywhere. Let's see if we can find some though. Just got our uh, seventh wheat penny today. This one is toast as a ghost. It's a common theme of this place, and a lot of my places around here. Tons of wheat pennies. Let's keep digging them up, though. Jackpot G. Lars, day two at the new park by the Town Works building, and um, I uh, I got the new coil on today. Got the bigger coil on to see if I can get any deep old coins, if there are any. Uh, I didn't end up coming back here yesterday, I just kept the uh, smaller coil on and tried some parks closer to my house, only got some clad. But uh, I came back here first thing this morning with the uh, bigger coil, and I've been here for like five minutes and I already just hit some silver. It's not a coin though, and it wasn't, it wasn't very deep, it rang up 60, so it was a really shallow silver earring. I should try to find where it says 925, right up there, 925. That's, some pretty, that's pretty cool, some silver already. I would have got that with the smaller coil too. It was right It was right under the grass line, it wasn't too deep, like one or two inches down. But um, that's a good start, some silver, nice. I'm not sure about the stones. Probably fake, but that's, that's cool. Let's see if the uh, bigger coil could find us anything else. Nice. I just got my First wheat penny of the day, eighth of the site. 
And I, I moved away from over there. I'm, I traveled around to where the old houses were. Sorry, it's really windy. Terrible weather. But, um, yeah, let's try to get into some silver. It's weird though, I think I think this is one of the spots where you're going to get like 47 wheat pennies and there's not going to be a single silver coin. Which means this, pro this place is probably made in the 60s or 70s. I was thinking it was a lot older, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we do. I'll show you guys what uh, some of my deep coin signals sound like. It's kind of choppy. Try to get the high 80, uh, high 70s, low 80s, but it's choppy. It's deep. All right, let's see what it is. It actually seems more silvery than all the wheat pennies I've been getting. Guys, you won't even believe it. That was like, not, it wasn't really a live dig. It was like a partial live dig. I, I told you it sounded silvery. And if you could see that, that is silver. I cannot believe it. Oh my God. It's a, what is that? It's a Merc? Yeah, it's a Merc. Oh, that's sick. I can't believe it. I was getting, I was getting annoyed at this place. I, oh my God, that is amazing. I can't believe it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh. All right. Um. I'm not gonna rub it or anything. But um. Oh, that's sick. I can't believe that. Okay. I'll show you guys the date when we get home. That is amazing. I cannot believe that. I knew it. I had that feeling. It, most of my wheat penny signals were like were 70s. That was more 80ish. I was like, is this gonna be silver? I figured it'd be nothing. And, oh man. I f oh. That is so nice. Hooray. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, I'll clean it up and I'll show you guys when we get home. I'm going to keep digging here now. Not too far from where I got that mercury dime. A little bit behind me. Just got my second wheat penny of the day. This one's 1946. It's cool. It's pretty deep too. The dirt is a lot more darker along this fence line than in the middle. You could tell they probably brought some fill dirt in the middle of the field to, to make the rain when it rains so that all the water comes out this way. So all the natural dirt will be by the, by the sides of the field. It's all sandy in the middle, all trashy. This is where all the good stuff is, right along the, right along the outsides. Let's see if we can find some more. We just got a mystery find. It looks like some a coin actually, but it looks like it's got like a charred covering. It's covered in like this black stuff and rang up high 60s. It might be like a token. I don't know, it's kind of heavy though. It's weird. I don't know. I'll try to clean it off when I get home, but that's weird. Mystery coin. Let's see what it is when I get home. That's cool. Nice. Just got my third wee penny of the day, tenth at this site. So the big, the big coil is. There goes the alarm, but the uh, the big coil is definitely helping. I, I I probably wouldn't have gotten that mercury dime and maybe one or two of these wee pennies. The uh, smaller coil probably just would have missed them, but this coil, the big coil, definitely helps for open fields like this. Let's we'll see if we can get any more silver. Nice. I got another one for you guys. I was getting it, I cut the plug already. It was giving more of a 70, 75 to 79 signal. Cut the plug. Now it's made in the 80s. I'll see if we get, can get another silver. It'll probably be a weedy, but I don't know. If we get another Merc, I'll, I'll go nuts. Alright, it's right. Right in there. Let's see if we can flick it out. Up, oh, it's a wee penny. 
So we got that one wee penny right there, and I always double check with my pin pointer. We're getting something else right there, so let's flick that out. It's probably two wee pennies, that's why it was higher than one, than, that's why it was giving off the 80s signal. Up, oh, it's just iron. Alright, just a nail. Alright, but that's still pretty cool. Wee penny. Here's that wee penny. The 11th of the day. I'll show you guys the date when we get home. Let's keep finding those deep targets. Just got my fifth wee penny of the day. 12th at this site. A deep faded 60 signal up to 70. A little bit lower than the rest of them. Let's see if we can get any more. It's cool. Just got my sixth wee penny of the day. One more and I tie yesterday's total. It's my 13th at this site. Pretty cool. Hopefully we start building up the silver count too. Just got my seventh wee penny of the day. Tied up yesterday's total. Now I got 14 wheat pennies at this spot. And this one looks like it was, it was barely buried. 1941. Pretty cool. Let's keep it going. Got another deep faded coin signal. And as you can predict, it's the eighth wheat penny of the day. So we beat yesterday's total now. Takes me a lot of wheat pennies to get to uh, silver, as you can tell. I actually have more wheat pennies than modern pennies today by like four or five. Wait, was it? It's eight, eight, four. So that's pretty cool. Let's get some more. There's wheat penny number nine on the day, number 16 for both days. If the pattern continues, my next coin, my next deep coin signal should be silver. And I never get sick of wheat pennies, I find a ton of them. I mean, you guys might get tired of them watching me pull them out over and over again. But I never get tired of wheat pennies. And they're a good sign for silver, too. Let's keep it going. Guys, I'm still at this park in the soccer field. And I'm going to eat well tonight again. I was getting a 49 to 51 signal. And I was just, I just flipped it up expecting another pull tab. I've probably gotten like 50 pull tabs so far. And it's some more gold. It's a weird thingy. It's like a, I think it's a pendant. Kind of looks like a gold coin. But you can see where it says 14K at the bottom. Here, maybe I can, maybe, uh, oh, that was amazing. I'll show you guys the other side. Fire department, New York. So it's a fire department thing. Oh yeah. Get it out. <laughs> oh my goodness. 14k. That's incredible. I'm not gonna rub it or anything. This is a good week, guys. This is a great week. This is my third time getting gold and silver in the same hunt. Awesome. Oh my goodness. If you guys are getting bored of wheat pennies. This is a, this should um, spice it up a little bit. Oh, that is incredible. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we let's see if we can keep it going. Awesome. Just got my 10th wee penny of the day, so unfortunately we broke the uh, little pattern, wasn't wasn't a silver coin, but still that's pretty cool, it's my 10th uh, wee penny of the day, back in the wee penny game, it's my uh, 17th in two days, let's keep it going. Finally got a deep coin saying no, I, you know it sounded more like a nickel, it was deep, a deep 53 and I was like oh maybe I'll get a uh, um, old buffalo nickel or something. And then I cut the plug and it was switching and I figured it was going to be my 11th wee penny. And you can see it right there. It's silver. It's a rosy. Oh, uh, stupid wind. But that's silver number three of the day. My second silver coin. Oh, uh, let me just... I don't want to... I think that's a 1958, which I don't have a 1958, so that is perfect. Awesome. 
Silver and gold. Let's keep it going. Nice. This spot is turning out great. Just got my 11th wheat penny of the day. 18th at the site. 18 wheaties, 2 silver dimes. And a gold pendant and a silver earring. Let's keep it going. Just got my 12th wheat penny of the day and it was, it was down there. There it is. I couldn't make out the date, but the uh, bigger coil is definitely doing its job getting those deep coins. Let's keep getting them. These are pretty good, uh, some pretty good finds from the last two days, especially from today. Start off with I got 657 in clad. I got I got this little bullet. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't think it was shot though. If anybody knows, you could comment. I got 19 wheat pennies, and um, this is why I love digging wheat pennies. You never know what the date or mint is going to be, and I ended up getting my rarest wheat penny. I'll show you guys. I got this one's blank. It was toast as a ghost. This one's a 1957. 1951D. Then I got a 1946. I believe this one is. Yep. 1945. I got five 1944s. A whole bunch. Three 1941s. It's hard to see. Three 1941s. Then I got five in the 30s. I like uh, coins in the 30s. 1930 Wee Penny. It's a decent date. 1935, another decent date. And they all came out pretty decent here. 1936, it's another decent one. 1938, and a 1939. And then, I couldn't believe this. But this one is actually a 1909S, which is the fourth rarest type of wheat penny. It's worth more than $100, and it's actually in very good condition. It's, it's got like, it's like pink, and, and, and you still could see all the detail. 1909S. That's that is my rarest wheat penny. They only made a million eight hundred thousand of these. That is not a lot. I was so happy. I was that made me almost more happy than the silver coins. Actually, it did. And I got oh yeah, that crusty coin was actually a silver war nickel. The black crusty coin. It looks like it was in a fire. Nineteen forty five D. 35% silver war nickel. Then I got the 1958D Roosevelt dime. It's very shiny. 1958D. It's a new year. Then I got the 19, a 1942 Mercury dime. Pretty sweet. No mint mark. And then the, the find of the day. Oh, yeah, I forgot the silver earring. Silver earring, of course. 925. Says it on the hook there. It actually also says it right on there. So I got four silver finds today. And then the find of the day. This is... This is, um... I'm actually... I'm going to try to find the owner. It's a, uh... It's a 911 pendant. I'll try to read the back. It's hard to read. It says Michael. Then it says, I will always, I will remember you always, Dad. And then it says his birthday, which is t uh, December 31st, 1955. And then he, he was, a f in, he was a f in the New York Fire Department. And he died in 9-11, during 9-11. And this is one of his kids, actually. Because it says Dad. And um, so I looked up all the, uh, there were 343 people 
who died in 9-11 in the New York Fire Department. There were a ton named Michael, but there was only one who who's the exact year or the exact age, which was, I believe, Michael Fiore. He would have died at 40, 60 years old. So I'm going to try to uh, contact someone in his family and see if I could return this. Because this isn't something you really mess around with. Somebody somebody was really upset when they lost this. So I'm going to try to return this. Now I have a little mission. That's pretty cool. 14 karat gold. I hope I, 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 I definitely could find the owner. It's probably, I'll let you guys know if I do. It kind of gives me chills when I hold it and stuff. But that's pretty cool. It was an awesome day. Really cool, a lot of fun surprises and finds. And I uh, hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably go back there tomorrow, for sure. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Uh, happy hunting and good luck.